Another feature of our managed care service is our maintenance program. You know, Microsoft even suggests that people rebuild their computers. That means back everything up, erase the computer, and reload it once a year because of all the problems that go on with Windows. Well, that's kind of ridiculous to us, but they are suggesting that because of so many intricacies and how, how the software is actually fragile and needs to be tuned up quite a bit. So we really suggest annual tune-ups, but we're going to be giving you 12 tune-ups a year. Basically, one of the things we have to do is patches. You know, every Tuesday, Microsoft comes out with patches. That means they found out something that's wrong this week that they didn't know was wrong last week, and they release patches. The problem is sometimes those patches actually cause you new problems that you didn't have before you did the patch. This has happened quite a bit in 2015, so we're trying to find a way to mitigate that. One thing we're doing is we're turning off the automatic updates for Microsoft, and we're waiting a week or two to make sure that those patches and those updates are going to work with your computer. Microsoft often releases a patch one day, and then the next day they, they release another patch to fix the patch that happened yesterday. And that kind of happens more often than you think. So we're going to wait two weeks, turn off your automatic updates, and deploy them twice a month. Um, the next thing is you won't be seeing screens like this anymore. You need to download these updates. You need to do things. We'll be doing that in the background. So no more pop-ups for Microsoft telling you that you need to do updates. Now, there are also many third-party programs. That means things that are not from Microsoft, such as Java, Adobe Acrobat Reader, Adobe Flash, Internet Explorer. Even the Help screen actually has vulnerabilities where people can hack in and cause problems with your computers. So we're going to be monitoring those third-party programs and applying those patches as well to your computer. Finally, we're not going to be restarting your computer after the patches are done. Now, they really are. it is really important to restart your computer, but we don't want to do that for you. You may be in the middle of a document, in the middle of QuickBooks, or in the middle of whatever you do on your computer in the middle of the night. And we don't want to restart your computer for you, so we'll send you an update through email to, as a reminder just to restart your computer when you have the chance for those updates to take effect. Hopefully, this will help you have a lot less problems with your computer.